In this video, we are going to practice converting wedge dash notation into Newman projections. In, in the past video, the previous video, I introduced Newman projections and showed you how the Newman projection is formed, but we didn't do any specific examples other than just this generic, very simple structure here. So these three structures are going to be more complicated. For all of these structures, we are going to cite down this carbon-carbon bond. So this is going to be our perspective. We are going to be like the person that is standing here and looking in this direction at the molecule. And again, I cannot emphasize enough that building models is makes this concept so much easier. So this is the perfect time to pull out your model kit to assemble the model based on the wedge dash drawing and then to just physically turn that model so that you are looking at it from this angle. So we are going to start by drawing the front carbon and from our perspective as we're standing over here, this is the front carbon. Remember that we represent the front carbon as a single dot and on that front carbon we have a methyl group, a CH3, that is sticking straight up with two hydrogens that are sticking down. So we'll have in our Newman projection, we'll have that methyl group sticking straight up and hydrogens that are sticking down and to the left, down and to the right. And I feel like I need to give myself a little bit more room in this drawing. So there is our front carbon. Now we are ready to draw the back carbon. Here is the back carbon with its substituents. If you recall from the last video, the back carbon we represent as a circle. And what do we have on the back carbon? We have a methyl group from our perspective. That methyl group is sticking down. And we have two hydrogens that are sticking up to the left and the right. So a methyl group sticking down and then hydrogens up to the left and the right. And in the last video I talked about also for the back carbon, the substituents as you're drawing them, you are attaching them to the circle. That's where they are attached. Do not connect them to that center dot like this. That represents that all six of those things, the two methyls and the four hydrogens, all of them are attached to the front carbon, which is not accurate. So here is the Newman projection for this first molecule. Let's move on to the next molecule. Again, we're going to cite from this perspective right here. And let's just go ahead and start with a template for our Newman projection. So what I've done here now is just kind of drawn in the basic shape, the skeleton sort of layout of this molecule. We're going to be standing right here looking at the molecule from this perspective. So the first thing that we're going to draw is the front carbon. The front carbon is represented by just a dot in the center right here. And what is on that front carbon? It has a chlorine sticking straight up. So we'll put that there. And then it has a hydrogen and a fluorine that are sticking down. So that's gonna be in these two positions right here. We have to be careful that we put the fluorine on the correct side and that we put the hydrogen on the correct side. It does make a difference. Does the fluorine belong on the left side or does the fluorine belong on the right side? Where does it go? So again, Build a model because that is definitely going to be the most helpful way for you to visualize this. Just build a model and hold it in your hands and look at it from the side. And if you do that, you will see that the fluorine in this drawing, the fluorine is sticking to the left and the hydrogen is sticking to the right. I don't want to give you the impression that because the fluorine is on the left-hand side of the, of the hydrogen in this drawing, that that is why they end up this way over here on, on this particular side. That's not always going to be the case, so be careful with that. Don't try to make any um, easy, generalized assumptions like that. Let's take a look at our back carbon. Here it is. Our back carbon has an ethyl group that is sticking straight down 
So we could draw that ethyl group in CH2, CH3. We'll fit that in there. And then it also has two hydrogens that are sticking up. So in this time, because the two things that are sticking up are identical, not like down here where we had a fluorine versus a hydrogen, um, because they're both hydrogens, we don't have to think about which goes where. They both go both spots. So now we're moving on to our very last example. This is going to be the trickiest one of all. We're going to cite from this perspective. So we are standing here and we are looking this way. And when we do that, let's, let's start with our kind of a generic Newman projection here. What do we see when we look this way? When we're looking at the front carbon, well, we can see that we have a bromine that is sticking up. And then we have a hydrogen and an OH that are sticking down. So that's going to be in these positions right here. And which goes where? The wedge, when we're looking at it from this direction, the wedge is to our left. And the OH on the dash, oh, I said that backwards. The hydrogen on the dash is to our left. The wedge, OH, is to our right. So from this perspective, the hydrogen is on our left and the OH is on our right. That is a general rule. When we are looking at the molecule from this direction, the dash bond will be on our left side and it will be on the left side of the Newman projection. And the wedge bond will be on our right side as we look at it from the side. So it will be um, on the right-hand side of our Newman projection. This is accurate when we are looking from the left. And not enough, I did not leave myself enough room there. When we are looking from the left. So for all of these examples, when we are looking from the left side of the molecule, the dashes will always be on the left-hand side of our drawings, and the wedges will always be on the right-hand side of our drawings. So now let's draw the back carbon right here. This back carbon has an isopropyl group that is sticking down. I'm going to draw that in line structure just to save space. And then it has a hydrogen and a chlorine sticking up. And what is what? Well, we have a wedge hydrogen. And since we are looking from the left, the wedge hydrogen is going to be on our right. And that means that the chlorine will be on our left.